Wait, folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back in. Oh, man, in the land of grills. Yes, we are. We've got a new pellet grill. This is from Gorilla Grills, and this is, they call it the Gorilla. And they, this is one of their original grills that they came out with. Folks, I've been looking at this thing for years, and the people from Gorilla Grills reached out to me and said, Tom, would you do an honest review of this grill? And I said, well, certainly. I'd love to. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to tear it apart, show you how it works. We're going to go online, take a look at it. There's a lot of things going on with this grill. And if you've ever seen pellet grills before, you're going to say to yourself, I've never seen one like that before. And that's what I said too. Very unique. Cool things going on in this. Let's get started. All right, there is so much going on with this grill. And I, we'll just start with the outside. Now, one of the most unique things about it is this lid. It don't open up. It slides. Look, look at that. Have you ever seen any grill that does that? Yeah, that is, and, it, and it's heavy duty too. So, you know, let, let's keep on going around. Uh, the, you've got your base right there. Now, there are wheels in there. There are three wheels in there, and you've got a lock, and that's what that's for. You've got shelves in the back, stainless steel, we've got hooks on it, you've got one on the other side. You can even see when this thing's going on, and I'll show you that, you can see the fire through there. they got a little window in there, and you can see the fire in the fire pot. I think that's cool. This hopper, take a look at this hopper. You're saying, well, that's a small hopper. Barely see the auger way down there. You never have any jams in here. Uh, that's a big hopper. A lot of room there. Walk around the back. Look at that, you got another shaft. And then here's your controller right there. Now, this is one of their Wi-Fi controllers. And I've heard a lot of good things about their Wi-Fi and their PIDs. And like I said, we're gonna be doing a temp test on it. Uh, it's just, if you're wondering, uh, there's a cord wrap here. We've got a pellet dump right there. This thing comes in at about 180 pounds. It comes almost fully assembled. What you see here is the only thing you're putting together is you're putting on these shelves. That's it. Everything else comes in a really big box. And then you just tip it out of there, put the shelves on, and you're ready to go. Let's tear apart. All right, let's inside. talk about the inside. If you're wondering what's going on here for size, this is the same size as a Weber 22-inch kettle. Now, this grate, you know, on the outside, you've got a lot of baked on enamel. On the inside, you've got a lot of stainless steel. This grate is, I want you to see that. That, that is all 3 eighths bar, and that's a stainless steel. Now, let's keep right, on going. So you also got a half rack that sits up here and it's got its own area to sit, and that also is stainless steel. Right, this big round thing in here, which is solid stainless steel, that's your grease tray. So, and you can see it's ribbed, and it is pitched that way, and you can see the slot where it goes out to where that, uh, where, where that can holder was. And that, that's pretty cool. Someone's gonna ask, hey, Tommy, can you also use that as a griddle? And I'm, I'm not sure if you can or can't. We, we will try it out though. You have to keep it somewhat clean, you know, and you know how I like to keep my stuff clean. And I'll probably line it with aluminum foil every time I use it. But uh, yeah, we probably will. Let's take it out and take a look at the bottom because the bottom of it has got the, uh, it's got the flame tamer on it. Look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. It's attached straight to it. So let's take a look at the fire pot. All right, so let's take a look at the fire pot. That's your fire pot right now. Now, if you've been watching Tom Horseman YouTube, you know that I've done a video recently on how to prevent fires in your auger tube. And a lot of it goes back to design, and Gorilla Grills has looked at that. They have, you see their, their auger tube is right here, and then it has a little slide that goes into the fire pot. And that's important because that keeps the fire away from your auger, which will eliminate having any sort of auger fire. Now you see that rod down there, that's your hot rod. That's what gets things going. And then the holes, that's where the blower blows and keeps that fire going. So, you know, and then if you're looking a little bit closer there, and I, another thing I like here is they put the temp probe right at grill, grill grate level so that you're getting a true reading at what your temperature is at the grill grate. And that tells that PID controller what the temp is and it makes the adjustments. Good ideas. And it is... You can see double walled here. That makes it more efficient. I would expect this to be a very efficient grill base setting. It's more vertical. Uh, and I would, once this all this metal heats up in here, I would say this is probably pretty efficient. But let's, let's keep on going. All right, for those of you who are wondering how much, that, that's how much pitch. There's a, there's a fair amount of pitch on that. Uh, yeah, you can see, get it to the level there. So there's plenty of pitch going down to where the grease goes out. Uh, I, I think that's going to be more than enough. So you, you can't see the wheels, which is kind of cool. And it is three wheels. There's two in the back, one in the front. And to uh, lock them, there's just a lift right here. And uh, you put it up like that. And that puts it on, actually on the ground, so it ain't going to move. And then to move it around, you just push back down. I think that's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at these shelves. I'll give you some dimensions. So yeah, the, the shelves are a little odd in size, but they're 12 wide. And you could probably put a tray 
coming out either way or on an angle, I would think would probably most people would do. But it does have some tool hooks, and there's two of them just like this. All right, I should mention about the grates. Uh, once again, I was wrong, they're quarter inch. And uh, there's 346 inch square inches on the main grate. The top grate is 142 for a total of 488. The total weight of this machine without pellets is uh, 180 pounds. Got a nice heavy metal lid on here. 20 pounds is what your uh, hopper capacity is. That's a lot. And I have a feeling that this grill is a little bit of a miser. But we got to test it out. And we're going to take a look at the controller next. Then we're going to plug her in and do a burn. Right, there's your controller. Uh, <laughs> simplistic to use. Uh, you do have a, pro it comes with a probe and it does have a probe port. Uh, nice big digital readout. I like that on it. Low on this grill is 180, high is 500. It does count in uh, five degree increments. All right, the grill says, okay. I was successful in connecting it to Wi-Fi. Now here's something, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. It, these things don't work uh, in a lot of uh, Wi-Fi enabled stuff needs 2.4 gigahertz. They don't work well or don't work at all on five gigahertz. Well, let's keep on going. That is so cool that you can see the fire pot when this thing is going. Okay, uh, we're gonna close her down. We're gonna do a burn in. Oh, I gotta put my pucks on there. We'll set it for uh, 300 and go about 30 minutes to see what right, we So get. from the app, you can adjust to your, your uh, temp by just like this. So like I said, let's, I tell you what, let's go 350 instead of 300. That's like, huh. okay, keep on going. Actually, you see the actual temp is right there. It says 85 now. Like I said, this thing does count in five degree increments. All right, as we continue with the burn in here, we're gonna take a look at those pucks, but let's take a look at this thing online. So grillagrills.com, uh, the alpha is uh, 929 bucks. So 900, 930 bucks, there's a lot going on with this grill, a lot of space in there. Uh, the PID controller on this appears so far to be working very nice. It's a very, very well constructed grill. And like I said, one of the most unique pillow grills I've ever seen. All right, set at 350, you can see the controller saying 350. Let's take a look at those pucks. It's been about a half an hour now. So let's just go inside here. And uh, well, 350 almost there. Three, a little less than 350 there, three, 325 maybe. 350 right here in the front. Or one in the back, looks like 350 also top shelf. like 350 top shelf 350 on the other side so as far as consistency is concerned uh <laughs> just you get the biggest kick out of this thing right here that you can just no heavy lid to deal with there folks and it's a it's actually a pretty nice tight fit so we we did um 350 here for about a half an hour i'm going to turn up because i want to see what high is on this grill we'll leave the pucks in there i have no doubt that it can do 180 um let's turn up 450 see where we're going you know i said 450 because that's the high on a lot of pellet grills this one's 500 that's what impresses me so let's see if 500 really is 500 all right final thoughts we did set it at 500 it's i don't know if it's going to make 500 it's been sitting at uh you can see 450 it's been up 455 and uh that's i think that's it the outside temperature today could be playing a that factor in that it's in the upper 30s right now but this thing has been rock solid uh, and uh I'll, I'll tell you what I, I can't wait to cook on this thing have you ever had a pillow grill where you can look at the flame <laughs> i think that is so cool there are a lot of cool things going on with this and we just started exploring all those cool things so tom horseman youtube Thumbs up, leave a comment, we'll keep going. I, I think this thing is a very unique pellet grill, and I, I think a lot of you will be surprised what we're gonna be able to do on this. Thanks for watching, folks.